Alright guys, this is the update video of the coil denitrator that I'm building. Um, I've got um, my input screwed in um, to the PVC. You're going to need one of these in order to do this make sure you get the right one they're just uh, threading tabs um, I decided to go with the outside coil to save room on the inside for more media um, it basically takes up zero more footprint um, it looks a lot nicer doesn't look like a pipe bomb that way well, as well I guess it does but still um, the coil will just go on the outside saving room inside here without sacrificing any more space so you're actually making much more space inside here you got about a half inch worth of space that you're saving um, by putting it on the outside so that's a good benefit um, you can see how I did this here. I did this um, on the, the actual pipe instead of putting the cap on um, and then threading it right through the cap and everything. I wanted to be able to uh, access the inside here before I put the bottom cap on. So what I did was I notched the cap so that when it goes on it just sits down like that and then I will be sealed up once I'm done um, so yeah and basically the coil will sit on this ledge here and fill up all the way down um, without taking up any more space let me get the cap back off here and show you what I did <clears throat> some of these can be a little tricky to get off once you push them on there um anyways yeah i got this here which i also tapped you can see the threads there and uh this is just a spout that's going to screw on to the little lip right here um just enough um you gotta get it straight on there Alright, there we go. <clears throat> so that <clears throat> and then just like this, it'll stay just like that. That's why I left the bottom cap off so I could access this right here. This is going to be the inlet after the coil. This is going to be the media, this is the bottom, so the, the water is going to go in that tube right there. It's going to go in there and come out the middle, aiming downward into the bottom of the cap, and then it's going to come back up, just like a media reactor. And it's going to go through all of my pot scrubbers. That I'm going to be stacking up on top of it. And uh, they're going to come up to probably about here. And then I have another cap just like this. That I tapped in the middle. I've got it upstairs. Um, I'll go get it real quick. Just a second guys. Got it. So, um, basically, then this is the top, and uh, I tapped this also, and I did it in such a way that it's flush with the inside. 
I actually had to grind down the union um, so that it's flush and I did that because it's it's domed I chose the domed uh, topper for it so that the uh, any gases that may build up inside here can just bubble up to the top and they'll find their way to the center and be exited out of the return uh, union here so that's basically just goes up on top of there and then this is going to just sit right on there so so it goes in and then out and then the coil is just going to come down and spiral down to the bottom and then enter and then go up through all the media back into the tank um, it's kind of a big dog but like I said I ain't messing around with this shit I'm not going to under uh, build I just want to make sure my traits never come back on me again I also started dosing vodka today to help uh, start off with the um, organic carbons to start breeding uh, the bacteria, and uh, you guys can find that on uh, Melv's Reef. Just check out Mar Melv's Reef um, vodka dosing regimen. Uh, that's what I'm following right there. Um, if I need to later on in the future, I can just duplicate this and add it to a bigger tank. Uh, and then have two of them running um, for more denitrification if I need it. Um, but this is going on a 75 or 72 gallon tank right now with about 75 gallons volume worth of water. This should probably be more than adequate. It's a 4 inch by 24 inch pipe. And uh, got 100 feet of ice maker uh, tubing that's polyethylene tubing that uh, I'm using for the coil and yeah so uh, to me I think it's a lot better and wiser choice to go on the outside of the reactor for one if you ever need to you can just if it ever gets clogged up you can just throw your whole canister away undo your coil and you still got the coil you can change your coil out if you ever needed to it's at least partially serviceable or if you put it inside and you cap it and then you you know PVC all this shit together you ain't never gonna see in there again you can't forget that you're never gonna ever see inside this thing ever again unless you break it open and destroy it so um at least that way if the thing goes bad you can save your coiled hose and just get some PVC you know and then so anyways yeah there's another reason why I mean it, it, it obviously um, takes up more room to put it inside there and putting it inside your reactor is gonna take up room so I'm not sure why people do that. Um, it likes to be on the outside. I see people wrapping them on the outside to train them to go inside already. So you're going to wrap them on there. Why don't just keep them on there, you know? Um, just leave it alone. Um, let the inside be maximized for biomedia, um, which is what I did. And I've got about six times five no six times six a uh, 30 30 oh no 36 yeah 36 pot scrubbers upstairs <clears throat> that I'm gonna be throwing in there uh, I think I'm probably only gonna be able to get like 20 in there or 25 or so in there but anyways stay tuned for the next video um, I'll be getting another update after I get the coil wrapped and everything so Thanks for watching.